if you're new to the channel, you probably don't know, but I quite like my colorful LED lights, particularly the ones that I can hide behind my monitor and behind my PC. And uh, at the time, Philips Hue looked like a great option to do just that. That and the Hue Sync functionality that, that you sometimes see crazy demos online on Reddit and people have uh, just crazy demos with so many lights and everything synced to the content. That was also somewhat of an appeal to me, mostly the setup, but the Hue Sync was also important. And a couple of years have passed and I've learned all the limitations of Hue Sync. And I found recently a solution for a problem that I always had when it came to syncing my PlayStation to HueSync without having to buy the crazy expensive HueSync box that retails for around 250 euros. But before that, if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. We usually have a cool looking tech video every week and there's always a cameo of my cat Gatsby all the way at the end of every single video. So what more could you want? Now back to Philips, you probably have seen the crazy prices that they charge for the sync box and I agree with you, the sync light effects are not worth 250 euros just for the HDMI box and even if you pay that it's still not a perfect solution since the TV apps will not work with the lights at all. Now my solution works with the PS5, the PS4 and the PS4 Pro but it probably also works with the Xbox, I just don't have one to test it but if you do and you follow my tutorial and you manage to get your Xbox working, type in the comments below what you did and what differs from the PlayStation and I'll pin your comment all the way to the top so that more people can actually see it. Now all you need is a PC or a Mac in the same network as your Hue lights. That's basically it. But first you need to set up your entertainment zone in the Philips Hue app, choose all the lights that you want with a maximum of 10 and place them in the scene as they are in real life. Second, you have to install the PS Remote app on your computer and the HueSync app as well and create a new secondary PSN account to log into the app there. This secondary account is essential since you want to keep playing on your main account, but if you use your main account to connect to the remote app, as soon as you connect your controller to the console, it will log you out of the remote app immediately. After you log into the remote app, simply full screen it and activate the HueSync app and everything should work. This will work quite well if your setup is similar to mine where the console is connected to the same monitor as the computer, but it will also work very well if your Hue lights are behind your TV in the living room and just use a laptop to install the remote app and Hue Sync, and you run it that way. The final tip and the cherry on top that I discovered recently is that if you want to remove the remote playing session notification that's visible all the time when you have a remote session going, all you have to do is go to the console settings and change the system language to something else and then back to the default. This completely removes it but of course you have to do this every time that you connect. The entire process may seem a little too much work for some but in my case it has been a better solution than buying the sync box and it's pretty much free. Keep in mind that a setup like this will shine in more slow paced story based games but it will also look great in FIFA and racing games but it's probably going to be too much if the only thing that you play is fast paced FPS games where the delay for the lights become much more apparent. Otherwise, the delay is actually fine in my eye, and as long as you have all the lights somewhere close to the Hue bridge, you should be golden. If you want some tips for Hue Sync settings, I usually avoid using the extreme presets for both movies and games, and usually just settle for high in games and medium for movies, and I think it's a pretty good balance, and most of the times the lights simply blend in like they're supposed to. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this tip helped you out and saved you some money if you're on the fence about buying the Hue Sync, or maybe you still want to buy it because you just don't want to go through all the work but still now you know that there are options and um yeah oh, oh but you're here but it's absolutely nothing to do with Philips the PlayStation syncing lights or anything related to that you're just here for some feel and action and now we'll surely and very gladly share it with you thanks for watching I hope you enjoy and you stick around and um yeah Bye!